Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the meeting today. I know that an impromptu meeting in the middle of the day is not ideal, so just bear with me as I only have a couple of items that I want to go over. First, we have two weeks until the 4th of July and that means the business is going to start ramping up. But with more business comes more theft. So I want all of you to have your eyes peeled over the next couple of weeks and look out for anything suspicious. If you see someone acting weird, let myself or one of the police officers up front know and we'll take care of the situation. We don't want anything going awry during the business day. Last year we had a bunch of teenagers come in and take a carload of merchandise without paying and without anyone noticing at all. And we don't want a repetition of that this year. The second item that I have is a new product that we got in yesterday. The new product was named the Sears Tower, as you know, but sadly, we had about a dozen groups from Illinois come in and buy up all of it. Who would have guessed that a bunch of Chicagoans love products named after their city? But in all seriousness though, I want to cover my third item, and I'm just gonna come out and say it. We have been way too disorganized and way too inefficient in our work here lately. The fact that we have boxes lying on the floor, tape guns that are being found in every nook and cranny, and price guns that are being found and abused by customers is unacceptable. Yesterday, I had a customer come up to me and tell me that our biggest assortment in the store was priced at 99 cents. Apparently, they had found a price gun and taken it upon themselves to mark it down for us so that they could get away with purchasing it for a dollar. Now, luckily, this was a big error and it was noticed very easily, but we can't have this happen again. I ask all of you, when you're out on the sales floor working and you finish up, bring all of your trash up front and bring the supplies with you too, so that we can make sure that the store is looking nice and that all of our supplies are in the right hands. Now, I wanna tell you all how this is affecting us, what suggestions I have for you for doing your work around here, and also go over the new incentive program that I'm putting in starting today. First, I want you guys to all know that this problem wouldn't have been an issue last year, and that's why I need to address now. When Mr. Shelton was in my position, he didn't care if the store looked nice, if the work was done, or if any of you were working at all. He really just let anything happen. Sadly though, that can't happen again this year. There's a reason why he was fired and replaced. The fact that our store ran so inefficiently for so many years is unacceptable and we needed to change this year. I ask all of you, please continue with your work, keep it organized and keep it efficient. Because when it's not, we have issues with theft. Over the last four years, we have seen theft rise every single year until last year when it reached $11,500. And this total is not a result of little petty theft. If customers were coming in and stuffing their pockets with a couple small boxes and leaving without paying, I would not be okay with that, but I would accept it because I know that's part of running a business. However, this total really suggests that we have an extreme problem with customers filling their carts with expensive merchandise and leaving without having it paid for. The fact that last year we had several cases go missing with no trace of who took them or when is unacceptable and can't happen again. Now, I also want to discuss with all of you the new incentive system that I'm putting into place. Starting today, I'm going to start assigning all of you tasks around the store and keeping track of who is doing what. If I find that a task isn't complete, I now know exactly who it is that's responsible for that. And if it is incomplete and you're found slacking off, I'm going to start docking your pay. However, for those of you who are doing hard work and even working faster than I expect, I'm going to reward you. Whether it may be a little bit of extra money at the end of the week in your paycheck, or even just like 10 or 15 minutes in, at the end of your break, I'll give you a little reward because you deserve that for working above and beyond what I expect. Now, also we have one big group incentive that I want to discuss with you, and that is if we manage to get this store cleaned up and looking nice by the July 1st and keep it that way until the end of business on July 4th, I will set up a fireworks show out in the parking lot after business closes on the 4th of July, and we can all go outside and watch it. I'll even let every single one of you pick a firework from the store that you want to see in the fireworks show. Now lastly, I wanna go over some suggestions for all of you on working here and how you can make your time here more enjoyable. I want employees who want to come in every day and put in eight hours of hard work, 
not because they have to, but because they want to. At the end of the day, most of us are working here because we enjoy fireworks. And that should mean that coming into work every day puts a smile on your face and doesn't make you want to complain or even quit. When I was here, I had a couple ways where I would always just make my work fun and make it enjoyable for myself. One time when I was working the cash register with Kevin, we managed to compete with each other to see who could bag items the fastest. If one of us could bag a customer's entire order and put it back in their cart before the other one could finish running the credit card for that customer, we want a milkshake. Another day, Connor and I were stacking items next to each other, and we decided to see who could stack it quickest, but also make it sturdy enough to withstand a cart being thrown into it by a rowdy kid. Well, I'll gladly admit that I won that competition, but also Connor and I stacks both went up very sturdily and really quickly. I'm not telling you that you have to make your work a competition, but if that's what it takes to make it enjoyable around here, then go for it. I want employees who enjoy their work and don't complain all day long. What I want out of you all is to find that by the end of the day that the work has gone by so fast. A study by Applied Ergonomics found that those who work at the same pace as others, but do so with more tasks than others, find that that time went by a lot quicker. If you don't have as many tasks to complete, your time seems to go a lot slower, and it makes you enjoy your work less. Think back to high school. All of us took math and gym classes. I remember my math class, listening to my teacher lecture for 90 minutes straight, and absolutely just toning him out because I could not handle how boring it felt. It felt like it took about three hours to finish class. But then I would go to gym class, and the 90 minutes that I spent in that class felt like half an hour because we were running around, playing sports, and enjoying ourselves. What I want out of all of you is to have your work be enjoyable. By the end of the day, you should say, wow, that went by really quick. I really love this store, and that's the reason why I decided to work my way up the ladder here. Every day, I came in to work and found myself in a fun environment around people that also enjoyed their work. And I don't want to see that go downhill. I don't want to see this business struggle. I ask out of all of you just to come in each day and give me eight hours. Then you can go home and enjoy yourselves in whatever way you want that doesn't involve work. Now I've given you examples of how you can make that work more enjoyable. I've shown you how it affects us, and I've also given you incentive now to go out and work harder. So I ask out of all of you, let's put in some hard work, finish out these two weeks of the busy season, and at the end of it, we can kick back and watch an amazing fireworks show outside and enjoy ourselves. Thank you guys, and please get back to work. Let's enjoy our day.